I'm senior reporter Don Nelson in Hawaii County with the Mormon Crickets. They are creepy and crawly and quite frankly hard to look at. Once you got them, you got them. Chris Black's family has ranched and farmed in Owyhee County for generations, and he can tell you firsthand the problem he has with these pesky bugs. They're a problem because they eat certain species of plants. Rancher Jerry Hoagland, an Owyhee County commissioner, puts it this way. Just uh, the annoyance of them there, everywhere. Livestock don't really like to be around them. They get in the water and probably the smell and the taste of the water, they, they don't like that. Ranchers will tell you, once you get Mormon crickets, you'll always have Mormon crickets because they travel in herds, literally across this land in Southwest Idaho every year. The good news is they'll die off at the end of summer. Bad news is they leave eggs behind and they'll be back in the same spot probably again next year. You saw how they went in herds? Yeah. Okay, they move away from noise. So I gave the kids bells and noisemakers, and we headed them over the hill this way, and at that time, we had a piece of private ground over the hill here. Yes, Chris and his family actually heard the crickets, like cattle, because as Chris told me, that's what they do. Jerry Hoagland believes you don't have to look far to see where many of the Mormon crickets are coming from. When it gets on federal land, that's a whole different story. Hoagland is referring to public land managed by the BLM, and that's where it gets a little complicated. The BLM told me in a lengthy statement that the BLM recognizes that these native insects are important ecologically, but also understands the need to reduce impacts to agricultural and other private lands adjacent to BLM lands. There are also concerns about the sage-grouse habitat. As far as the state goes, ranchers and farmers work with the Department of Agriculture. The challenge is with Mormon crickets especially is they really have a negative impact on crops and, and forage. They love to eat grass, they love to eat crops, so the impact they have on those agricultural lands can be significant. So it seems the Mormon crickets are not going away anytime soon. So if you have the pleasure and you come across them, just make a little noise and keep going. In Hawaii County, I'm senior reporter Don Nelson, Idaho News 6.